So I've spent over a month with the Lenovo Legion Slim 5. We're gonna talk about some things that I love, some things that I don't like too much, and then help you make a purchasing decision. Now, first and foremost, one thing I don't like is that this laptop is not slim, okay? It is almost the same thickness as the Lenovo Legion Pro 5. It's like barely thinner and it's about the same weight as well, barely lighter. And so I wish that advertising this laptop as the slim would actually be accurate. However, if you want to get a slim laptop, I recommend checking out the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i. That is truly a slim laptop and still has great performance with an i9 processor and an RTX 4050. However, if you're looking for the RTX 4060, which if you're a creator, I recommend going with the RTX 4060 for video editing, 3D modeling, blender use, etc., then you're gonna wanna get something like this. I'm gonna do a head-to-head -head of the Slim Pro versus this very soon, so just keep an eye on the channel. But back to this laptop. I think that making this thing slimmer would have been more accurate or just simply renaming it. Now, the next thing I don't love about this laptop is the speakers on the bottom cover. They have plenty of room to put speakers on the top cover of this laptop. I mean, they don't even have that big of a trackpad, which we'll get to that in just a minute. They could easily bump the keyboard down just a tiny bit and bring this trackpad down a tiny bit as well, or just pull the keyboard closer to the trackpad and give us upward facing speakers. Because if you hear the audio of this laptop, It's really not that great. It's it's just mediocre. And I wish it had a better audio experience because for me, that makes a very nice editing experience, listening to music, watching movies. It just, it makes the difference to enjoying your laptop even more. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Benji Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. Now, the next thing I'm gonna point out, which I've pointed out for years now, and people are starting to get annoyed with me, but I, it's still a gripe, is this size trackpad. Lenovo makes bigger trackpads, and the fact that they don't put a bigger trackpad on this laptop, for me, is a little frustrating as a creator because I don't always like to keep a mouse along with me. I wanna be able to make good design or video editing changes and this small trackpad just kind of hinders that. So I wish the trackpad was larger on the Legion series in general. Now, the next thing is the screen. I expected a slightly brighter screen being that the Pro has over 500 nits of screen brightness. This laptop doesn't even reach 100% sRGB and it also has only 352 nits of screen brightness. However, the Delta E is a 1.18, which is great for color accuracy, but the gamut is quite small at 99% sRGB, 77% Adobe RGB and 77% DCI P3. So I wish there was a slightly better panel on this laptop. Now, those are some of my truly minor gripes because this laptop is amazing. And the fact that it comes with the 99% sRGB panel at the price point that it comes with, you could not have seen this just two or three years ago. So the bang for buck of this laptop is really great. So let's get into some of those things that I like. Now, first and foremost, the battery life. I mean, the fact that you can get nine and a half hours of battery life out of this Ryzen 7 7840HS processor is fantastic. Now, I get that by setting the refresh rate to 60 hertz, put the screen brightness to 20%, turn on Windows Battery Saver mode, turn off the dedicated GPU in the Lenovo Vantage Center, as well as set it to silent or quiet mode. That gives me a great battery life at both productivity, streaming video playback, Photoshop, and video editing. That's one of the best battery lives I've seen 
out of a Lenovo Legion laptop, and it really is benefiting from that HS series processor. That's a lower TDP processor, which means it's more efficient than say a standard H series or an HX series. So if you're choosing the Slim 5, you're getting a big benefit from that processor for efficiency. Now, the next thing of course is going to be the SD card reader. If you're a video editor, graphic designer, photographer, you won't have to bring a dongle to use your SD card from your camera and put it into the laptop and be able to import your footage huge bonus. One of my favorite things about the Lenovo Legion Slim 5, even over the Slim 7, which I'm a huge fanboy of, is the upgrade path. You can pull off the bottom cover and you can upgrade both RAM sticks and two M.2 drives. You can only upgrade one RAM stick from the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. So actually by choosing the more budget-friendly model, you get more of an upgrade path. Absolutely fantastic, I love it. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Slim 5, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, what I love about this laptop would not be complete until we talked about the performance, which it has fantastic performance. Now, taking a look at Photoshop, a real world benchmark from this laptop, you can see it scores a 928. That is a fantastic score. Really anything above a 750 to 800 is great for Photoshop. So that we're scoring a 928 with 16 gigs of RAM is fantastic. If you were to upgrade this laptop to say 32 gigs of RAM, you would get even better performance because Photoshop loves RAM. Now, if you're looking for this laptop for After Effects, it's gonna do well in After Effects also. You score an 807, which is kind of like my entry point for a fantastic After Effects laptop, to be totally honest. So you're in the green zone. However, if you're looking for a bit more of a punch with After Effects, I would definitely look towards the Pro 5 where you score a 923. In the 900s, you're getting like really good performance. Usually it has an RTX 4070 or an extremely well optimized RTX 4060. But honestly, seeing a laptop in the 900s with a 4060 is not super, super common. Uh, it's really reserved for the, for the greats, so to speak. Uh, like the Pro 5i uh, has an RTX 4060 and it scores a 921. So it's an i i7-13700H with an RTX 4060, super well optimized at a 921. So maybe you consider that laptop. It's just, you know, kind of up to your choice. Now, moving on to Blender Classroom. Again, we see great results. This laptop scoring a 927 and the Pro 5i, which I just mentioned, scores a 900. So you're actually getting a little bit better score than the Pro 5i, which is really neat. Now, Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, all excellent scores. A few years ago, you would not have seen a laptop priced this well with this good of a screen, this good of build quality with that sort of performance in a 3D modeling program. So by far, it's one of my best bang for buck choices uh, for a budget budget. I say budget friendly. I mean like in a category that where you're actually gonna have a laptop that performs well, not like, Hey, this is a cheap laptop and you can go, you know, code your way to Mars. No, that's not going to happen. Like we're talking relativity here. Um, and so anyway, this is a great laptop for the price and the performance that you get as well as the build quality. All right, next up, we're gonna look at some 4K export times, a two minute and 36 second export time, right in the spot that I love to see laptops that are getting great results. Uh, now, 6K was good. I wouldn't say it's the best, but there's a lot of laptops from this year scoring in the 20 to 24 minute export time for 6K. This laptop hits the 17 minute and 21 second export time, which is way, way better than a lot of those other laptops, which are actually more expensive, I might add. Um, so if you wanna get even faster export time, that's where you get into the Pro. So the Legion Pro 5 and the Pro 5i. I know I keep promoting those, but again, in the Legion series, it's kind of good to know where, where things stand. Playback is also really good for 6K video editing, 137 drop frames for 6K B-RAW and 271 for 6K red footage. And like I said, at this price point, you would not have seen that just a few years ago. So I would say overall, this is not a slim laptop, but it is a great performing laptop with great build quality and usability. So if you want to make a purchase, links are in the description below or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you here in the next one.